going on viewers Mike Constantine here driving home from work another story time uh, I thought about doing this in sequential order as they happened to me I started with the one in Reading but there's no fun in uh, doing things in order right it's my channel I can do it in whatever order I want so I'm gonna tell you a story from when I lived in Sacramento California I was about eight years old so the years like 1992 93 give or take and uh, we went to this flea market big flea market and had just about everything you can think of I think it was called Denials or something like, like that. I'm not sure if it's still up and going, but uh, when well, they had an antique spot, and my parents decided to buy these two antique uh, porcelain clown portraits, but they were like three dimensional almost, like they were coming coming out of the uh, of, of the portrait itself, and already creepy enough, right? I hate clowns, uh, to be honest with you. But they decided to put these things in my room of all places, and uh, sure enough, the first night they put them in there, I noticed that both of them were changing facial expressions. Now, mind you, they came in with serious expressions. They weren't happy clowns by any means. But in my room, they were putting like these demonic, almost evil smiles. And I was super creeped out, super scared, uh, naturally. Complaining to my parents. Nobody believed until my grandmother from my mother's side came to visit from Puerto Rico. And she stayed in my room. And sure enough, she was seeing the same thing I was seeing. The facial expressions would change. And now uh, everybody believed me. So they decided it was a good idea to take them out of my room. Now, I didn't mention before, when they were brought into the house, my father brought them both in, uh, one under each arm. They were kind of heavy, but nothing a big guy like him can handle. And uh, when they went to take them out of my room, they needed two people to lift and get it off the wall and put it into the walk-in closet, almost like they didn't want to be taken to the closet. So, not sure how to explain that, but it doesn't stop getting any freakier there. About four days into being into the walk-in closet, the facial expressions have changed permanently, or what it looked like to be permanently, on both of the clowns. They went from being serious to being completely sad with tears in their eyes where they had none. Now, it sounds fake, right? It sounds like movie stuff. But if I didn't have my mother, my father, grandmother, anybody else that could collaborate the story to, to back me up, I wouldn't even mention it because people would think I'm crazy. So we decided it was time to get rid of these things. Not sure what the proper way of disposing is. I know they decided to take it to the dumpster and just toss them. But when they went to take them out, again, they needed two people to carry each portrait. And the night before they did that, uh, we saw an apparition of a uh, polka dotted pant fat guy at the end of the steps. So not sure if it was tied together with that, but almost like they were trying to stay in. So more of this story, be careful, be wary of what you buy in antique shops. You don't know what's attached to it. Same thing goes with like uh, clothing. You know, you don't know who was attached to what in their life. So I'm not saying don't buy anything used, but just be careful and be wary if you get a bad feeling about it maybe don't buy it you know and uh that's my story for today i hope you like it comment below let me know what you think 